Soup it up, Kev. What'd you say? I said, soup it up, Kev. I'm about to. Soup it up, Because that's what I was born to do. Mm, yeah. I got a um, trivia question for you. Okay, what you got? All right. I was doing some research online mm. and um, about famous actors and the dietary habits mm -hmm. and found out that Bruce Lee was not a vegan, but his brother was. You know what his name was? Broccoli. Oh. <laughs> you know what it was? I think I had too much of a lead in to get you to start thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off November with a W. <laughs> <laughs> What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Men Cook Kitchen. It is soup season, it's also the fall. So that means delicious savory recipes to warm us up and to make us feel, I guess, comforted and make you feel like a lot more like home. So today we are putting a spin on one of my favorite recipes and I'm pretty sure many of you love this recipe too. If you've ever eaten at this restaurant here in the States, it is the Panera broccoli cheddar soup it is so good it just there's something about it it just automatically puts a smile on your face even if you're not even a fan of soup or cheese is that is that a thing can someone not be a fan of cheese so today we're gonna work to find some ways so we can shed some of the calories at least by 30 40 percent by substituting in a few of the ingredients i think you're gonna love the recipe and this reimagined way of something that we just really love to eat um, during the fall time. So, if you're ready to roll up your sleeves for this delicious cheddar chicken broccoli soup, then let's get started. You ready, Jesse? I'm ready. Are you ready, Internet? Yeah, I can. We ready for you, fool. I just imagine that's what they sound like. <laughs> I don't know. They're probably like, we don't sound like that, bro. Okay, so the first thing, grab some broccoli. And what we're gonna do is just chop off the florets, just like this. Very easy. I'm gonna take some of the big parts the big parts of the stem, toss those. What we're gonna do is just do a rough chop of them, especially some of these larger bunches. Let's prep our onion and garlic as well. Got my garlic here. Smash it, smash it and chop it. I love fresh garlic. If you're a garlic lover, load it up and then onion. I'm gonna use some white onion. You could also use some yellow onion. The one I probably would not use is uh, the red onion this time just because the flavors of the red onion I feel like a little bit too strong. Fire up a pot, place it on medium heat and once it's nice and hot, I'm gonna add in a little bit of olive oil and in goes the garlic and in goes the onion. Yeah, we love that sound, we love that smell. While that's cooking, I'm gonna prep the rest of our ingredients. Now this is also going to be a chicken cheddar um, broccoli soup. So I've got some rotisserie chicken here as a great time saver and also a good budget saver. I'm telling you, this is part of my weekly thing that I buy. I buy these because they're so easy to sneak into recipes, especially right now during soup season. And then we're just going to pull it apart. Just pull it in strips and it should come apart super easily. We're going to add our chicken to the onion. Add in the broccoli now. Stir everything together, mix it all together. Now, let's add in a little bit of personality. Gonna add in some smoked paprika. And of course, this is soup season. Gonna add in a little bit of turmeric, my buddy, as an anti-inflammatory. It's also gonna boost the vibrancy of this dish as well. A little bit more flavor, we're gonna add in the everyday seasoning. This is an optional ingredient, you don't really need it, but I know it's going to really help to bring out much more of the flavor here. Also, one more veggie that we're gonna add. We're gonna grate in a carrot. Give everything a really good stir. Mix it all together. Make sure everything is covered. Make sure nothing is burning either. It's starting to smell pretty nice, very fragrant. In goes some chicken broth. This is some low sodium, no salt added chicken broth. You can also add some vegetable stock. And if you want, you can also do half and half. You can do a little bit of chicken broth and you can also do a little bit of water. I'm going to sneak in some bay leaves. Boom, tuck them in there. And then we're gonna pop the top and then allow this to cook until the vegetables are cooked all the way through. We, we want them soft. We want them a little bit 
past crisp tenderness. Okay, so as this is finishing up, we're also going to add in the thickener. So a lot of people like to add in a whole bunch of flour, but instead of flour, I'm gonna be using a little bit of arrowroot. And if you don't have arrowroot, you can also use some cornstarch, or you could even use something like an oat flour if you're trying to go gluten-free. I'm not a gluten-free dieter, but I do like the fact that arrowroot is also great for digestion. Add in a few tablespoons of water to this, and we're gonna add this to our mixture once we add in the milk. There we go. Turn down the heat just a little bit. We don't want it to be piping hot. Look at that golden color already too. Oh man. I'm gonna take out the bay leaves now. Take out the bay leaves if you can find it. <laughs> in goes the arrowroot and stir it up. It's gonna make it nice and thick right away because it's piping hot which is also good. And remember, we're trying to cut the calories here, so instead of adding in a bunch of butter and some heavy cream, we're gonna add in some light canned coconut milk. And then of course, the star of the dish, we can't forget cheese. This is some reduced fat cheddar. We're going to now just grate in fresh cheddar. Oh man. Let the cheddar flow. Let it flow. Give it a good stir, and it should melt right away. So, oh man, stirring the cheese and look, it's just thickening up and getting super nice and cheesy. All right, we're gonna pop the top on here and let this cook for another 10, 15 minutes. Let all the flavors melt together let it get, and let it get nice and cheesy. And after about 10 minutes, voila, oh, <laughs> you getting this goodness, Jesse? Are you getting the goodness, Jesse? Man, this looks beautiful. There's another bay leaf, and don't mind if I do. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh my God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jesse, what do you eat your soup with? Some sort of sourdough bread, man. That's right. You know, toasted up some sourdough. And all I did was just put a little bit of olive oil, some garlic, and then some sea salt pepper, boom. Hit it with some salt. Beautiful sourdough toast. You follow the scoop, follow the scoop, follow the scoop. Of soup. Ooh, yo! I'm gonna totally disrespect you. So beautiful. Okay, now it's time for the tough job. I will be the first one to do it because I just have to you know, do the tough job for the internet. I just, I don't have what it takes. So you, 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 know, know. You, you know, some people don't have the heart yeah. to do that. Yeah. It's tough. Oh my goodness, imagine coming home to this. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes, Lord. That is some good soup, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, let that cheese fall. Disrespect it. I'm gonna need a whole bowl <laughs> of that. <laughs> this taste test is not gonna do justice. I need a whole, give me a salad bowl of the soup, man. <laughs> and a loaf of bread. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> so, can we compete with, you know, with the Panera version of it? Can we compete with it? Maybe. I mean, maybe so, right? You know, we're never gonna throw our hat in the ring. I love it. Um, I love this recipe. I love that we were able to shed a lot of the calories, but still keeping a lot of the good flavor that we love with this soup. So I hope that y'all go run out and try it. I know that I love it. I know that your family's gonna love it too. Also, comment below how you would customize this recipe. Just keep it calorie conscious. Watch out for calorie dense ingredients like adding in more cheese or butter or heavy cream or even um, full fat coconut milk. Those things are going to inflate the calories a little bit more. And while those are great for flavor, it does a lot with competing on making it a overall calorie conscious dish. Well, if you like videos like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below and remember to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell, y'all. Ding, ding, ding. So that way you can be notified when we post hot new content here. As we're coming to the end of the year, we're gonna slow down some of the content that's been coming out to gear up for what's coming next year. So make sure that your alerts and your notifications are set because um, we're gonna be doing some things a little bit differently next year that I know that you're gonna love though. 
All right, y'all, until next time, to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh! Bye, y'all.